everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today I'm going to give you guys a first look at my Asian themed aquarium. So this right here is my 210 gallon tank. You guys don't really see this tank too often, especially in the summer, because this tank is in a room that is surrounded by windows. We get a lot of natural light. I really like natural light on my aquariums. However, the one downside is that when it comes to making videos, the glare is just absolutely terrible. So because of that, you guys don't really see this tank too often. But yeah, this is my newly set up Asian themed aquarium. The last time you saw this tank Indonymous, he was in this aquarium and he was ruling it with an iron fist. Um, he was controlling everything. Um, the tank kind of looks the same, it's just a little bit more enhanced. Indonymous was a fish that liked to destroy stuff. So being that he's been out of the tank for a couple of months, um, the plants are growing nicely and just the tank just has a new vibe. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of the tank and talk about some of the future plans with this aquarium. Now as I mentioned, the theme of this aquarium is Asia, so I try to get all fish that originate from Asia. And this is something I just like to do with all my aquariums. I like to select a region and collect fish from that region, like I have a South American aquarium, I have a Central American aquarium, I have an African aquarium. So this right here is my Asian inspired aquarium. Now the reason why I do this is because in my mind, I believe it's pretty natural to have fish coming from the same region. However, an Asian aquarium is pretty difficult because Asia is such a huge continent. And there's a lot of fish in Asia that will never meet naturally. Like in this aquarium, I have the Nensen barbs, which originate from India. And I also have Bala sharks, which come from Malaysia. Naturally, these two fish would never meet in the wild. I also have a Gourami in this aquarium. Now, while Gouramis do come from the same region as Bala sharks, they don't really come from the same habitat. Like Bala sharks, they like fast moving streams and rivers. Waters that have a lot of oxygen, while Gourami, they prefer slow moving waters that a lot of times don't have a lot of oxygen. And that's the reason why Gourami are able to breathe air directly from the atmosphere. So yeah, I have a lot of fish from the same continent, but it's not really natural having them all in the same aquarium. And that's why I don't feel bad having a convict cichlid in this tank. She's a fish that is from Central America. Um, but the reason why she's in this aquarium is simply because before I started the Asian theme aquarium, she was in this tank. I bred this fish about a year ago to be fish food. She's still alive. Um, she's alive for a reason. She's a champion. So for now, she's in this tank. Eventually, I do want to find a better suited home for her. But for now, she doesn't mind being in this aquarium. She is the tank boss. So yeah, this is my Asian themed aquarium. Now, when it comes to the aquascape of this aquarium, I pretty much stuck with my same aquascape as my last theme. In my last theme, I pretty much went with Ancient Ruins. And I had Indominus living inside this tank. Indominus is a jaguar dovi hybrid. He looks like a dinosaur. So with that last theme, he looked like a dinosaur that was protecting these ancient ruins. The idea came out very nice. However, Indominus was a bad tenant because he would destroy my plants. Um, my decorations that I built myself with silicone and wood and everything like that, he would rip it apart. So he definitely was not the right fish to promote that aquascape. So now I have the same aquascape, but this time I have fish that will appreciate it. And so far, it definitely is looking very good. So I have cinder blocks all around our aquarium. We have one tall structure to the right, and then we have two smaller structures on the left side of the tank. And um, the cinder blocks are great because they're made out of concrete. They kind of give you that ancient ruin type of idea. And at the same time, the, the cinder blocks are great hides. They have openings that are about five by five. So my big bala sharks, they can fit through them easily. Um, of course, the smaller fish can fit through and underneath the cinder blocks. So definitely a great hive of that. And um, the important thing about when you create hiding spaces for your fish, you want to make sure that it's not too great because if it's too great, the fish are never going to come out. If it's not great enough, the fish are not going to feel comfortable in the aquarium. And I feel as if these cinder blocks are that perfect middle spot. They're not too great, but at the same time, they're not too um, insufficient for the fish. So definitely nice having these in the aquarium. And then I have one artificial piece of decoration. I'm usually not a big fan of artificial decor. Uh, for a number of reasons, but this one actually fits pretty well, the little Buddha head. Um, it matches the concrete. It kind of has that ancient ruin type of look because there's holes in it and there's um, artificial growth of plants on it. And um, it's Buddha, so it kind of fits with the Asian theme. And besides that, we have pieces of wood scattered around the aquarium, different rocks. I have wood coming down from the surface of the water. And on that wood, I have plants, um, a lot of Anubias that came out of my 880 gallon aquarium. Those plants were just getting suffocated by the terrestrial plant, so I had to give them a new home, and they definitely look good in this aquarium, and the fish actually appreciate it. On the right side of the tank, we have a lot of roots growing into the water. These are coming from my terrestrial plants that I have grown above the aquarium, which I'll show you guys shortly, but um, these have a number of benefits on the aquarium. 
first of all, they're removing waste from the water, which is great. But I believe the biggest benefit is that these roots serve as a safe haven for some of my smaller fish. Whenever you have a tank with big fish and small fish, the small fish tend to seem insecure. And that's natural because normally big fish eat smaller fish. So it's natural for the smaller fish to feel a little bit uncomfortable. So having these roots in the aquarium definitely make the fish feel um, a lot more safe because these smaller fish could go into the roots and almost disappear. And that was the case with my Denensin barbs. When I added them, they were about 0.75 inches. They're still not that big. They're only about an inch to maybe an inch and a half big right now. But when I first bought them about a month ago, they were about 0.75 inches. And um, they would spend a lot of time in those roots because it just felt safe in that area where they just couldn't be seen by me, by the bala sharks. So it's definitely nice to have those roots in his water. Um, the roots are pretty long. The tank is about 24 inches tall. And some of the roots could go down to the bottom and come back up halfway. So we have some pretty long roots in this aquarium. And I also contribute to the ancient ruin theme. Um, just create some more darker scene. And um, just looks really cool. We also have some of my terrestrial plants cascaded into the water. So we have some of the fern leaves coming into the water, which, which looks really cool. We have pothos coming into the water. And just overall, the scenery is very nice. And it's one of those scapes that's just going to get better and better over time. Now when you go above the aquarium, it's just a whole new world. I have just a nice mix of plants. I have a nice jungle of pothos on the right side. I just added a spider plant about maybe four weeks ago and it's starting to adjust to the aquarium life very well. And then as we pan over to the left, we have a Boston fern that has been inside the tank for a couple of months and definitely starting to do very well. I took my Boston fern out of my 880 because it was just going crazy. It was about maybe three feet in diameter and the one inside of my 210 will get there pretty soon uh, but just definitely a nice looking plant and really brings the aquarium to a whole new level so the terrestrial plants definitely having a strong impact on this aquarium okay the last thing i want to talk about with this aquarium is the stock of the tank and i pretty much already talked about it i just want to go into a little bit more detail so obviously i'm trying to keep everything within the asian theme with fish coming from asia of course eventually i do have to take out my female convict I do have a Central American Aquarium, she's just too small to go inside of it, so I have to find another tank, and when I do find that tank, she's coming out. Um, the Bala Sharks are the main focal fish of this tank. If you follow the channel, you know that these guys used to live inside of my 350. My 350 was getting too crowded, so I had to take somebody out. These guys, they're very cool, they're very peaceful, so I wanted to create a tank just for them, and thus, I came up with the idea of the Asian themed aquarium. So yeah, these guys are the focal fish of the tank. I have five of them. The biggest one is about eight, maybe nine inches long. The smallest is not too far behind at about six inches. And um, they're just living their best life in this aquarium. I'm seeing colors that I never saw in them before. The black is very dark. And then you're starting to see blues and yellows. Maybe it's just me. I know me as a crazy fish keeper. I'm so into fish keeping that I see colors that most people don't see. So yeah, these guys are looking great in this aquarium. I thought that a perfect combination with these fish would be my rose line sharks, which are also called the Ninsen Barbs. Right now, they're young, and um, they don't really look too perfect, but eventually, as they get older, they'll reach 6 inches. Their colors are going to get a lot more intense, so they're going to have some nice yellows and reds and black, and um, they're going to match the energy of the bottle sharks, if not exceed the energy level, so we're going to have a lot of activity from those guys, so definitely a great um, combination, in my opinion. And then I threw in a Kiss and Garami, if you really follow the channel and you've been with me for a long time, you know that I've been looking for a Chris and Garami and I just couldn't find them. Um, I kept these fish a long time ago when I was a kid and I know that I didn't know it when I was doing back then. But now that I have more experience, I believe that these fish are very smart and with enough experience you can really unlock a lot of potential with these guys. And so far it's proven to be true. This guy is already eaten out of my hand and I've only had him for about a month. So definitely um, going to be cool unlocking the full potential of this fish. And then I have space for more, and that's where I need you guys. What else should I add to this aquarium? I was thinking tiger barbs. Tiger barbs are a fish, one of my favorite fish, but they are kind of overused in a hobby. Then I was thinking about clown loaches, and this tank I don't really have any bottom feeders. So clown loaches, of course, they're a classic Asian fish. Um, they look cool, they get big. The only problem is that clown loaches right now cost a ton. And if I buy them, they're going to be extremely small and they're going to take a long time to get to a decent size. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for suggestions as far as what I could put in this aquarium. Of course, I'm looking for Asian fish. Um, different types of loaches are in my um, 
options, different types of barbs. What do you think will look cool in this aquarium? I was even thinking about gara, those um, panda gara, which are pretty much the, the um, pedicure fish that will clean your hand. Those would be cool. So a lot of different options. I just don't know what would be best. So yeah, everyone, this has been a first look at my Asian themed aquarium. Um, I believe that in time, this will be one of my best aquariums. The aquascape is very unique. And the fish look awesome, and I believe that, like I said, with time, the escape is just going to get better. The fish are just going to get better, and um, it's really going to be a very beautiful aquarium. It's going to be very active. It's going to be very relaxing to watch. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this aquarium. Now, if you had this tank, what changes would you make with this aquarium if it was yours? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.